This is Cameron Highlands Resort, quite possibly the most luxurious hotel in all of Cameron Highlands. And so, it should come as no surprise that the room rates here are not for the faint of heart or the light of wallet. We stayed in the junior suite and it cost a whopping 800 ringgit per night. Was it worth it? Keep watching to find out. Cameron Highlands Resort is located somewhere between the towns of Tana Rata and Brinchang. Across the road from the resort is a golf course, which by the looks of it should make for a delightful golfing experience for you avid golfers out there. But back to the resort itself. Cameron Highlands Resort has quite a bit of old world charm and exudes a distinctly British colonial style in its design and decor. Its overall vibe is reminiscent of the Eastern and Oriental Hotel in Penang. Cameron Highlands Resort is also one of the small luxury hotels of the world, which is a rather exclusive list with just over 570 hotels on it. For context, there are close to 700,000 hotels and resorts across the world. And as a small luxury hotel, there are only 56 rooms here spread over two floors, a ground floor and a second floor, which is just as well because there is no lift here. The hotel describes its customer service as follows. Traditional English charm merges seamlessly with discreet Asian hospitality. I don't know if I felt any English charm when interacting with the hotel staff, but I will say their service was indeed deserving of their status as a 5-star luxury boutique hotel. Whether it was helping us with our luggage up the stairs or ferrying us to and from our car with umbrellas to shelter us from the drizzling rain, we felt the warmth and friendliness throughout our stay here. The only other time I could recall such exceptional customer service was when we stayed in the Four Seasons Hotel, Singapore. Check that out if you are planning a trip to Singapore anytime soon. Before we get to the junior suite, let me give you a quick tour of the hotel. But if you'd like to skip ahead to the chapter you're interested in, please feel free to do so via the links below. Let's start with when you arrive at the hotel. If you're driving, you'll go up this slope and head straight to the hotel lobby to unload your luggage. You park your car in the open-air car park right in front of the hotel lobby. At the hotel lobby, there's usually a bellhop stationed there who will help you to unload your luggage or even offer to shelter you from the drizzling rain as you walk to or from your car. Climb up the flight of stairs at the lobby, then head to your left to find the reception where you check into your room. While at the reception, turn around and you'll immediately see the Jim Thompson Tea Room, which is where the hotel serves a traditional English afternoon tea to guests in the afternoon. If you're wondering who Jim Thompson is, he was an American businessman and architect who mysteriously disappeared during a stroll in Cameron Highlands in 1967. Till today, his disappearance remains an unsolved mystery. Anyway, in the evenings till late, it's also where you can have a drink or two, which is of course what we did. Here's a strawberry whiskey sour which according to the bartender is a drink unique to Cameron Highlands Resort. Just to orientate you, the hotel reception and tea room are on the left side of the hotel when you're facing it from the car park. On the right side of the hotel is where you'll find the library or reading room. The design and architecture here are especially evocative of a classic gentleman's club. I'm referring to the kind of private social club where you'll typically find older, high society men, usually white, smoking cigars and drinking whiskey. Walk a bit deeper into the hotel, past the library and you encounter a koi pond. According to this activity menu that the hotel provided us when we checked in, every morning at 8.30 there is a koi fish feeding activity. There are also a few trails or walks you can participate in including a Jim Thompson mystery trail, a leisure trail and a jungle trekking adventure. These are not complimentary though. The only one that is free for hotel guests is the guided walk that takes place at 2.30pm every day except Monday. So, plenty to keep you engaged and entertained in this hotel. Before I forget, there's also an Asian restaurant called Gone Bay, where you can have steamboat, which is just perfect for the weather here, as well as a spa, but as we only stayed for one night, we didn't have enough time to try those out. 
that's about it for the quick hotel tour. Maybe one more thing to mention, you'll notice there's no swimming pool here and no kids club, which is worth keeping in mind. I'll talk more about why that matters a bit later. First, on to the junior suite. We stayed in room 25. It's on the right side of the hotel when you're facing it from the car park. It's a 51 square meter accommodation with a living room, bedroom, two bathrooms, dressing table, study desk, and a balcony. When you enter, the first thing you see is the living room straight ahead. Immediately to your right is the first bathroom, or more accurately, a powder room, which is typically a bathroom that contains only a toilet and sink, but no shower stall and no bathtub, which is exactly what we have here. Here is a more complete view of the living room. You can see the bedroom just behind the sofa, but we'll talk about that in a moment or two. When we entered the room for the first time, we were greeted by a couple of welcome refreshments on the coffee table in the living room, courtesy of the hotel. Here is the welcome note they gave us, wishing us a happy anniversary. Thank you, Cameron Highlands Resort. First, we have some ripe, juicy strawberries, and to go along with them, delightfully sinful cream to dip into. Next to the strawberries and cream are cookies topped with chocolate and more strawberries. Very nice. Here is the TV as viewed from the comfort of the sofa. The desk is on the left side of the sofa when you're facing the TV and it's right up against the wall. Below the desk, on the right hand side, is the mini fridge which does come stocked with several drinks. On top of the desk on the left hand side is a coffee machine, kettle, bottled water, beverages and instant noodles. Note, only the bottled water is free. The cup noodles cost 10 ringgit each and each drink you saw in the mini fridge cost between 15 to 30 ringgit. Now let's go to the bedroom which is right behind the sofa in the living room. There's no door that partitions the bedroom and living room. The bedroom comes with a four poster bed and on top of the mattress are two towel swans arranged to make a heart shaped pattern as well as individual flower petals that spell out happy anniversary. On the nightstand to the right of the bed is a digital clock which doubles as a wireless charger. That should be quite useful. The hotel also provides earplugs in case your partner is a snoring machine. The wardrobe is in the corner over on the right side of the bed. There's a safe in there as well as bath ropes and a few clothes hangers. Diagonally across from the wardrobe is the dressing table. The second bathroom is to the right of the wardrobe. There is a bathtub in here and it's a somewhat decent size. Here's the sink and mirror along with toiletries as well as hand and face towels. On the other end of the bathroom is the shower stall. It comes with a rain shower and detachable shower head. Here are the shampoo, conditioner and shower gel that the hotel provides. And now here's a different angle of the bathroom as viewed from inside the shower stall. Overall, this is quite a decently sized and tastefully designed bathroom. Finally, on to the balcony. The best part of the view here is mainly the golf course across the road. Also, it's not the biggest of balconies as you can tell here, but frankly, I don't mind as I'd happily give up the balcony to have more space in the room itself. That about concludes this tour of the Junior Suite at Cameron Highlands Resort. For good measure, here is a 360 degree panorama of the Junior Suite while standing somewhere close to the center of it. And in case I haven't mentioned it, one night in the Junior Suite at Cameron Highlands Resort will cost you somewhere a little north of 800 ringgit. And included in that 800 plus ringgit is breakfast, which is served in the dining room. It's next to the library or reading room. In fact, you'll definitely walk by it on your way to breakfast. This is the dining room. It certainly has a touch of that old English charm to it. Breakfast is a la carte, but you can order as much as you're able to eat. This was the menu we could choose from during our stay. While you're waiting for your main course, you can help yourself to a selection of breads and pastries as well as fresh cut fruit. For drinks, you can choose from a selection of freshly prepared fruit juices including orange juice and watermelon juice as well as teas and coffees. This is the classic breakfast, two eggs any style with a hash brown, sausage, bacon, tomatoes and toast. 
Here we have the sambal and cheese toasty which was my personal favourite. The chicken curry was especially spicy and it was perfect for dipping the cheese toasty into. This was the noodle of the day, kuei tiao goreng. And finally, this is the roti chennai, or as we call it in Singapore, roti prata, which was extra crispy and went really well with the curry and dal. We had also wanted to try the nasi lemak and pancakes, but we were simply too stuffed after having had four main dishes between the two of us. So maybe next time? On that note, Cameron Highlands Resort is most definitely a hotel that I would be more than happy to return to. The decor, architecture, ambiance, service, food and overall experience were excellent. This hotel feels like an almost perfect destination for a couple's romantic getaway to the countryside. But in a similar vein, this is probably not a hotel that would be worth bringing your young children to. For one, they just wouldn't be able to appreciate it for what it is. For another, there's no kids club here and no swimming pool to keep them entertained, which means you're the main entertainer, which means you won't have time to enjoy the hotel to its fullest. That brings this review of Cameron Highlands Resort to a close. Let me know what you think of this hotel. If you're going to Cameron Highlands, would you stay there? Or if you've already been a guest there previously, feel free to share your experience in the comments below. If you're still watching, thanks for staying with me till now. This channel keeps going only because of you. So catch you in the next video. See you again soon.